Just over three years ago, the NCAA began allowing college athletes to benefit from their name, image, and likeness. It was a controversial move some feared would take amateurism out of college athletics. Michael Beta in Boulder tonight, and Michael, the NIL program can not only help student athletes, but also the larger community. Yeah, Mick, Buffs for Life is working with current CU athletes to address the mental health struggles current and former CU athletes may face. And that's why they continue, that way they can continue to help Buffs alumni when they need it the most. The public thinks that, you know, athletes are these superstar, high-paid athletes. That's not true. These are still college kids. Sean Tufts knows what it's like to be a student athlete. He played football for CU in the early 2000s. That means he knows well the highs and the lows student athletes face. I think there's a stigma there where they have it made. That's not true. They're making it. That's why he works with Buffs for Life, a nonprofit that provides mental health services for CU athletes when their playing days are over. Our goal is to take that thing we do on a basketball court, on a football field, on a ski slope, and let the public know that you know you've got to make your mind as strong as your body. One way Bus for Life is spreading that message is through current CU athletes. Thanks to new NCAA regulations that allow players to earn money with their name, image, and likeness, he can recruit current CU athletes to help Bus for Life talk about mental health in athletics. We can show the athletes how they prepare mentally for the game, things that stress them, ways to overcome that, and push that in the community and attract more attention to it. He says having well-rounded athletes is something CU and their superstar football coach want too. He wants to train whole athletes. He's, he's a, a gravitational leader that really, really focuses on the person, not just X's and O's. So giving student athletes money to promote mental health is a great thing for all involved. And as a Buff legend, he's glad CU is involved with helping their athletes use their positions responsibly. Rick George's leadership, Coach Prime's leadership, Phil DeStefano's leadership, they're partnering with us to do NIL correctly. Now, Sean says Coach Deion Sanders is a great example of how to market yourself to achieve your goals for good and that if his athletes ever struggle to, uh, to be able to market themselves, well, they don't have to look far. Coach Sanders ain't hard to find. In Boulder, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first.